Good evening everyone, and welcome to the Dinosaur Dungeon. Tonight I just want to do a quick video review of the Pinzo Triceratops. You may remember I recently did um, a review of another Pinzo dinosaur, the Pinzo Chungkingosaurus. So you can check that out in uh, the other videos in my YouTube channel. But tonight we're just going to talk about uh, the Pinzo Triceratops. So this is in the same line as the Chunkingosaurus. These are um, large, hollow, vinyl dinosaurs. And uh, they're actually pretty affordable, um, especially for their size. So let's take a look at it. First thing you can see here is this beautiful box with the model on the front of it. Get that right in there beautiful. I'll flip it around just so you can see. You don't need that. There's the bottom with all the writing on it. So, let's take a look at the actual model. And here it is. So you can see it's a fairly decent size and uh, lots of skin detail. Let's bring that up close. So you can see it nice and clear beautiful beautiful sculpt especially the head the head has uh, a really really detailed sculpt sorry that my camera moves around on me so I'll just spin it around so you can see uh, I like the detail in the head the color scheme uh, not sure why it's so shiny though I think I would hit this with a with a dull coat but uh, other than that it's uh, it's a pretty decent model um, I like the way that the head's tilted forward, like it's charging, so this would go great with a diorama with a T-Rex. Um, and, uh, another thing people ask about is seam lines, and, uh, I'm happy to say that on this guy, even though I'm looking quite closely at him, I don't see any seam lines, actually, to be honest with you. It's, uh quite impressive um, seeing that it's hollow vinyl it's um, very very light so oh, I did notice one seam line right there but that's actually not too bad because we've got some big skin folds here but other than that I haven't seen any so uh, yeah it's very beautiful dynamic sculpt like I said lots of skin detail the paint job is very um, grays and the little hints of browns and stuff in here. It's really nice, but it's it's kind of just... It's not too standing out. But the head is where it stands out most. Which is fine. It, it's most likely the way it was. You know, bright. Because we now believe that these were more for display. The frills were than uh, defense. So, uh, it definitely makes sense for this kind of color scheme to have it... You know, mostly on the head first. Um, so yeah, um, we'll grab the, the tape measure quickly. Um, if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Let me grab it out of the box and we'll just take a quick measurement. We'll just lay it out so you can see the size of it. So we'll lay this out. We'll put the right about here. And you're looking at about 15 inches long. So if we stretched out maybe 15 and a half or possibly even 16. So it, like I said, fairly uh, large model and uh, really great. Um, you can you used to be able to get these on Amazon, but you can't anymore. But uh, if you're part of the dinosaur toy forum, there's people on there that sell them. Um, so I would check it out there. There's also some sellers that have some of them, I think, um, in the U.S. I'm not sure exactly, but uh, I'm sure they'll be available on Amazon again soon, and hopefully they uh, release some new ones. There's quite a few in this line already, and then some smaller ones that they're doing. Uh, Pinzo's a great company out of China, and uh, they're doing a lot of good work. So we'll definitely be uh, trying to get our hands on more of these to review 
in the near future and one last thing I will show you just for comparison is an old K Auto kit from the 90s so here's the old Triceratops from the 90s you can see that they are roughly the same size although the head on this guy is larger which probably should be for this this head is too small for the size of the body so but good comparison nonetheless so this one still needs to be painted that's the thing this one comes in the box already like this you don't have to do any building or painting it's ready to go you could make a nice base for it if you want and display it on your shelf anyway there you have it the Pinzo PNSO Triceratops. Thanks for watching and hit that like button and please subscribe. <laughs>